What's going on guys, Hostile Beast here, back again with another episode of Retro Bowl Franchise. Finally, we are back. I know it's been a while, but here we are today to take on Baltimore. Before we do that, we gotta do a little recap. We are two and four, so not the best start. We're the last place in our division, but things are looking up after a good win against the Chiefs. And that's all thanks to our quarterback, Darnell Mullins. We brought him back last episode and he threw for five touchdowns. He also had two picks, but I'm willing to overlook them because he did throw five touchdowns and he was also very clutch when it mattered most. The rest of our offense is good and then our defense. You guys know how I feel about our defense. They're very inconsistent. You never know who's gonna show up on the field. You could get the 85 Bears. You could also get like the current Falcons. You never know how they're gonna be and hopefully today they're good, but we both know that's probably too much to ask. So offense, as usual, you guys gotta carry. Here are the Ravens, they're four and three. Three and a half star defense, three and a half star offense. So they're a good team. They're not great, they're not bad. They're a good, solid team. And then there's us, five star offense, five star defense. On paper, we should run the league, but we're two and four. As you all know, we got off to a rough start. We're looking to turn that around today. We're three and zero all time against the Ravens. I do not intend to make it three and one. Okay, tradition is tradition. We're hopefully gonna beat the Ravens today. So let's go out there and let's keep our season alive. Here we go. We're gonna receive the kick to begin the game against the Ravens and it is raining as they kick off to us and we take a touchback. First play of the game will be a handoff to Jesse James. He is gonna go nowhere. As I said earlier, it has been a while since I have played this game, Scramble with Mullins, because I was pretty busy in the month of May. I had prom and I had finals, but now I am back and I have a lot more free time in summer to make some more videos for you guys. Here we go up top to Peep on third down. Peep is open. He's got a catch at 21 yards. First and 10. Hand it to James. James through the middle. Gets a stiff arm and he fumbles it. It's a turnover. James cannot hang on in the rain. I mean, it is rainy, but the ball should not be that wet yet. It's still the first quarter. First down and our defense makes a stop. They punch it away. Hand off to James again. I don't know why we're doing this, but we do. We get five yards. Second and five, audible right here. Okay, I like the route McNeil's running, and I cut back inside, and he does not hit his foot. All right, where's Peep? Peep is, he's nowhere. We get sacked. It's fourth and 11 on our own 13. I already know there's somebody upset by this. We have to punt it away. Okay, there's no way we're gonna convert that. All right, so defense, come on. Let, let's see a stop here. Aguaro is too slow. Lander wasn't strong enough either, and they score. We're down seven to zero, so we need to go down and score here because they get the ball to start the second half, so we cannot be down two scores in this game. Although I feel like this happens every time we play the Ravens. We go down big in the beginning, and then we still end up winning. Like, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember each Ravens game because it was a great game. Every single time, they blew a lead. Carter Clemens over the middle, maybe? I mean, there's a lot of defenders. These, okay, this Ravens defense is kind of clamping us right now. No one's really been able to get open. Second and three, Carter Clemens. Quick pass to him. He breaks a tackle and he goes outside for nine. Hand off to James. Get that small ground game going. He's got six yards. Judging by the way their secondary is playing, I don't think we're gonna win this game with big plays. As I say that, we're trying to take a shot to McNeil, but still, I don't think, we're not, we're not gonna be able to do that every single play. Now let's run it with James. Through the middle with James, he is stopped. End of the first quarter, down seven to zero. I like the route to McNeil up top. He's just gonna run. He has a, he tips the ball up, he catches it, and he's in for the touchdown. So McNeil puts us on the board. We're gonna go for the extra point. Okay, it is windy. Eight mile an hour wins. This is not good. Look how much that moved. Landrum was too slow. That's like the theme today. Every time, it's Landrum and DeGuara, I swear. I say they're the best players on the team, and then this happens. It's a fumble. Okay, they actually, they made a turnover. Our defense got a turnover with no points. That's like the first time this season. That is sad. Okay, anyway, we're on the three-yard line. We got to run right here and just try and get some breathing room to throw. There is James for four. Second and six. Hand it off again. Do not want to get a safety. I have never actually, in any Retro Bowl game that I've ever played, I've never been safety. I do not plan for that to start today. Okay, up top to McNeil. Now we can afford to take a shot down the sideline. That's a bad throw, but he still catches it. First and 10, find Peep now. I, I just said we're not gonna take shots the whole game, and this is what we're doing. It's tipped, it's incomplete. McNeil up top. I mean, I, I like the throw to McNeil. He's really actually playing well this game. There we go. He's got 20 yards. Mullins to McNeil. Actually, that feels weird to say, because if you're an OG fan, you will remember our original tight end on this team was named McNeil. So Mullins to McNeil, you know, kind of hits different after all these years. There's seven for James. Actually, I wonder if this McNeil and old McNeil are related. They could be brothers. Although they, they look kind of different. So maybe, you never know. 
New viewers have no idea what I'm talking about. This is kind of funny. Okay, anyway, there we go. There's Peep. He's got a catch and a first down. Peep down below. Just throw it to him. He's not really been that good this game, but here he is for the touchdown. 14 yards, two defenders on him. Does not matter. Nine mile an hour wins. I already know. Someone's going to have to kick a game winner, and it's not going to go very well because of the win. There we go. Extra point is good. We're up 14 to 7. 19 seconds left in the half. Please, defense. Do not let them score. Do not let them score. Butler, no way. Okay, good. So for once, we had good clock management, and now we kick off for the Ravens. Butler missed a tackle, Ren was too slow, and they're going to score. I feel like everybody on defense, except Sweat, has messed up this game. First and 10, McNeil up top on the hitch route. I like that route. You guys know this. I say it every game, but it is such a great route. There we go, eight yards. Second and two, I like the shot to Peep. He has a lot of separation there. He's got to catch easily, 22 yards for Peep. James through the middle. We have a good run pass balance, you know? Normally I pass like 80% of the time, but it's been like 60-40 this game and you guys are actually in for a treat. I'm actually playing the game the, the way it was meant to be played. First and 10, Carter Clemens over the middle is wide open. Can he get a block? No, the defender fell over. Clemens runs over another man and he has 20 yards. Almost broke free, that would have been sick. First and goal, McNeil. Oh, this route is nasty for McNeil. Can he get it? Does he have it? Intercepted, how? The ball was tipped up in the air, and the Ravens pick it off. So that is not Mullen's fault at all. And there's Sweat messing up. So everyone on our defense is messed up, and Mullen threw a pick. DeGuaro is too slow, and they score. We're down 21 to 14, late in the third quarter. So still plenty of game left, but we do need to go down and score because I do not trust our defense. I feel like I say that a lot too. There's some things, you guys probably notice this. There's some things that I say like every single game, and something bad about the defense always happens, I swear. Also, while it's not too intense, I want to mention, I have tried a new game on my channel. It is called Hoopland. It is basically the basketball version of Retro Bowl. If you have not checked that video out, you definitely should, right? Try it for the first time, because even if you don't like basketball, if you're like me, I don't like basketball nearly as much as I like football, but Hoopland is actually so fun. So you got to go give the game a try at who just dropped at. That was McNeil. McNeil just dropped the pass. Now it's third and nine. I'm gonna do a hitch route to peep. I don't even care if it's third and nine. But yeah, as I was saying, you guys have got to go try out Hoopland. It's so fun. There's nine yards for peep. Did he get across the line? He did. Peep got a first down on a hitch route on third and nine. That is, that's just, that's how you know he's on another level. Here's McNeil on the bottom. That's a true one-on-one. -on -one. We're gonna throw it to him. He's got a catch and 17. Speaking of McNeil, he is having a good game. If he gets a touchdown here and we win this game, I think you could call it a breakout game for McNeil. He's caught almost everything that I've thrown this way. And there's Peep! Breaks two tackles for a touchdown. That's a thing of beauty. That's highlight reel right there. An extra point. Man, that wind. That wind is scaring me. It, it's, it's tied in the fourth quarter. Someone is going to have to kick a game winner. And the wind's going to be nine miles an hour. 21-21. Our defense comes through. They punt it away. And here we go. McNeil. I sang high praises for him. Let's see a catch. He's got one. I like Peep up top on the streak. Let's see it. Peep up top. He's got a catch and 14 yards. All right, I will take it. Peep up top. Is it double coverage? Yes, it is, but he's got a catch. A stiff arm. Could not get free, though. He's tackled at the 20. Here we go. Carter Clemens over the middle. Risky throw. Very risky throw. It's tipped. It's caught by Clemens. He's got 17 yards. 58 seconds left. Not good clock management. Okay, there's Peep on the hitch. He's got a... No, he doesn't have a touchdown. Peep again on the hitch route. This time he catches it in the end zone, and he scores. All right, extra point right here. This is a big deal. There's 40 seconds left in this game. Extra point is good. 28-21. 38 seconds left. Defense. Hold them, defense. There's no way. There's no way. Sweat. There's no way. There we go. Game over. We beat the Ravens 28 to 21. We're three and four, and we're moving up one spot in our division. That's nice to see. This organization is taking some, what? What? In my three years as head coach, I've brought us to an AFC championship the first year, a Retro Bowl win, and a Retro Bowl loss. If anybody is gonna criticize me, I would like to see them play with this defense and do half as much that's what I've done. Get out of here with that. All right, praise the owner. I mean, it was really me. And the, the fans don't do anything. It's all me. Peep, 150 and three touchdowns. McNeil, 135 and a touchdown. You cannot really ask for much more from a receiver duo. And that's a nice win to put us in third place in our division. Next week, we got to play Buffalo in Orchard Park. So that's going to be a tough game. So right now, stop what you're doing. Comment down below. 
Thoughts on this game for one, but also score predictions for next week at Buffalo. It's going to be a good game. It always is when we play them. That's all I have for you guys today. A good win versus Baltimore. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.